everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share some of my eco home hacks with you that I use in and around my own home. So I have put so much more focus on being eco-friendly and I do look at labels more than I've ever done before and I really do consider things before I purchase them and the impact on the environment. So I feel like everyone can make a few little changes and hopefully some of these inspire you to make an easy shift or even overhaul what you're currently doing and maybe take a bit more of a considered approach. I will leave all of the links of anything that I can down below in the description box so if things do interest you then please do go and take a look there. So let's get on with the first eco home hack. So I have mentioned these in another video and I will mention them again because I absolutely love them. We get so much use out of them and it is these White Company glass containers. So I've got two different sizes, a small and a large. I actually think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what the sizes that they're called on the website as well but as I said I will list it down below. These are such a good alternative to plastic containers if you're not a fan of plastic and you want some really good quality glass options then the White Company do have some great options on their website. We usually use these and especially this big container we do a bigger portion for dinner and then save them in these containers and then just help ourselves throughout the week to lunches and it makes things so much easier especially at the moment when we're working from home so I would highly recommend these lovely glass and bamboo I think the top lid is from the white company. Sticking on the theme of containers and kind of fridge storage I recently picked up I have two of these one I couldn't show in this video because it's got a lot of messy food stored in this but these are um, Stasha silicon containers. I saw this on a video that In The Fro um, posted, so Victoria talked about these and how good they are. This for me is a little bit too small. I had some cheese stored in this before, but it'd be good to put in like a whole pack of ham and stuff like that or whatever things that you want to store just in bigger versions. So that is my recommendation. I got these off Amazon. I still really like them. I like that they're silicone based and again, they're really easy to wash up. But um, yeah, just get them in a slightly bigger version or whatever size is gonna be suitable for your own house. So straws were the first switch that I made when I became a lot more aware of the damage of plastic and straws in particular. I buy in bulk now these straws. So these are paper straws. They come in so many different colors just show you here I'll take some of these out so they come in loads of different colors they're really fun and I love having straws readily available that aren't plastic to just put in any drinks but they look really cute in cocktails so this for me is a great purchase 200 in this pack and they last for absolutely ages I do think everyone has the same common complaint that paper straws do go soggy really quickly so having a big box of them is really helpful that you can just kind of switch up your straw if you feel like it's getting a little bit too soggy so this again was from Amazon and I will link it down below so the other thing that I realized I get through so many is actually the cotton wool pads and I kind of challenge myself to think is there a better way of doing this? I'm not just chucking them straight in the bin. I use them to take off my eye makeup and I use one on each eye, take the makeup off every night. I also then have to go back over it sometimes in the morning if I've left anything on. So that's a four that I'm using pretty much on a daily basis just for my eye makeup, which I really think is such a waste. And I then started looking at other options. So I've also kind of revamped my skincare routine. So this kind of went hand in hand and I learned more about using a trusty face cloth instead. So I now use one face cloth per day. I then use a cleanser, something like the Emma Hardy cleansing balm to take off my eye makeup. And then I just go in afterwards with a really simple white face cloth and take everything off. You can rinse it under the tap, 
they go straight into the wash and honestly everything comes out really really easy in terms of like the big black mascara marks that you've got over them because I was worried that these might turn like either the marks not get out of them or turn a little bit of a weird colour but I can highly recommend these are a great alternative to using cotton wool pads on a daily basis so the other thing I did to make things a bit more jazzy because you do need so many of the um, face cloths which I actually bought from Marks and Spencer's they were really cheap and I wanted to make them look a little bit more fancy so I have actually done what most hotels do I have stacked these up you can see I've I think I have now about eight or nine of them so that you've got enough when they do go in the wash that you're not going to run out. I've just put them on a um, a gold tray. This was actually a tray I was using for something else. I think I had a candle on before. I now keep this in our ensuite and I, put, I use it specifically to kind of lay out all of my face cloth in a really fancy hotel kind of vibe to kind of make things look a little bit nicer. I didn't really know where to store these before so having these on a tray not only looks nice but you know it kind of reminds you as well that no you're using a face cloth you don't need to use a cotton wool pad so this is another good idea for an eco home hack another switch that I have made is actually to use a subscription service now for my dishwasher tablets this isn't the most ideal way of showing you these I've realized I've chucked the box um, because I accidentally ripped into it when there's a really easy way to use them but these are I think you say small um, and they are a much more eco-friendly way of buying your dishwasher tablets they do also have a whole range of cleaning products I haven't tried any of the others yet but I have tried these and I can tell you that they perform exactly the same as the previous washing tablets that I was using for our dishwasher so for me making that little bit of an eco switch they also don't come in the huge plastic tubs that some of the other leading competitors do so this is another reason why I really wanted to kind of find an alternative and test it out to see if they were just as good and they really are so I will be looking at the rest of the range at what other switches that I can make another way to be a bit more eco-friendly is to ditch plastic bags and I know that lots of people have made this switch I now if I do not have a reusable carrier bag with me like this one I feel so bad having to buy a plastic bag to put my shopping in. I think it's really good that they've put this, I want to say, I don't even know what the word is. I think it's a really good idea to actually put a price on a plastic bag so you do feel that like sense of guilt. And this is a great way to make sure that you've always got a bag with you that isn't going to take up so much room in your handbag. So this is from Mark Suspensers and it completely comes out into a big hand big handled carrier bag. You can see there used to be well it still is writing on this but I've used this to death almost. Um, this bag is made from five recycled bottles so again this is such a good way as like an eco what eco-friendly way to store everything but to have it in such a good size that your handbag is then not filled with a massive carrier bag to put your shopping in. So I'll just show you at the top, it's really hard to see on the camera I realise, but it has a little pocket that you then push everything through to store the bag into. And some of you may have already seen these previously, but it really is that simple. It just kind of goes straight in here. There's then a little section that's got the Velcro on so you tuck it in and then you've almost got a little heart then bag just to chuck into your bag. This is such a good way to make sure you've always got one on you. I then also, you know, you can pick up any kind of canvas bag anywhere. I'll just show you some of the others that we have. This was a freebie bag from Gatwick Airport of all places, but this is great. We then have a bag that is... I say it's like a, a vest almost, but this is from Oliver Bonus, this bag. And we just store all of our other bags like this in here so that if we ever just pop into the shops, we just grab one out of our little kind of reusable bag bag. 
um, but yeah it's a really good way to not use plastic bags and just kind of remind yourself you've got to take your carrier bag with you so they are my eco home hacks i hope that has been really useful and given you some ideas on what you can do to kind of little switches that you can make and be aware that there are some really great lovely looking alternatives to some of the previous kind of plastic single use objects that are out there so if you did find that helpful then please do give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button i would love to have you following along and also look out for my next video which is coming on friday thank you so much and i will see you soon bye